Today's topic is tools for genetic engineering. In that, we are going to see the restriction enzyme in principle and process of biotechnology unit A chapter 4 in botany. So tools for genetic engineering. So in order to produce the recombinant DNA molecule, the basic tools are necessary. So what are the basic tools? Enzymes, vectors and host organisms. So these are the basic tools. Enzymes, vectors and host organisms. So now we will see in enzymes. So the enzymes are restriction enzymes, DNA ligase, alkaline phosphatase. These three enzymes play an important role in genetic engineering. Now we will see the restriction enzymes. The two enzymes responsible for restricting the growth of a bacteriophage in excretia coli were isolated in the year 1963. So there are two enzymes which restricts the growth in that is bacteriophage growth in E. coli that is excretia coli and that was isolated that was found out in 1963. So in 1963 the excretia coli that is E. coli the bacteriophage means the virus which infects the bacteria is called bacteriophage that the, the bacteriophage growth was restricted what stopped stopped by two enzymes. So that was seen in the E. coli bacteria in 1963. This may ask in your board exam as well as in a NEET exam. So one was the enzyme which adds the methyl group to DNA while other cut the DNA. So there are two enzymes. The first enzyme add methyl group. Methyl group means CH3 group to the DNA and another one that is another enzyme cuts the DNA. So two enzymes. The first enzyme function is adds the methyl group to DNA and the second enzyme function is cut the DNA. So for our DNA technology we need the second enzyme. So it is called as restriction endonucleases. So a restriction enzyme or restriction endonucleases is an enzyme that cleaves the DNA into fragments at or near specific recognition sites within the molecule known as restriction enzyme. So this restriction enzyme or restriction endonucleases cut the DNA at specific site. That site is called restriction site. Based on their mode of action, the restriction enzymes are classified into exonucleases and endonucleases. So based on their action, okay, action, the restriction enzymes is classified into exonucleases and endonucleases. First we will see exonucleases. So these exonucleases enzyme removes the nucleotides one at a time from the end of the DNA. So exo means outside that is at the end of the DNA some nucleotides are removed at a time not one or two at a time at the end of the DNA some nucleotides may be removed that is that was done by the exonuclease. So exonuclease itself removal of nucleotides at the end of the DNA is called exonuclease function. Example, BAL31, exonuclease, Roman letter 3, that is 3i, that is exonucleases, Roman letter 3. So, these they may ask in your one mark as well as, that is one mark in board, board exam as well as in your NEET exam. Endonucleases, endonucleases are the enzymes which break the internal phosphate diester bond within a DNA molecule. So exo means at the end and endonucleases means inside the that is the phosphate diester bond is breaked by this enzyme in a DNA molecule. So example HIND2 eco ri p wool p wool or wool bam hi tag hi. So these are the enzymes of endonucleases. 
so exonucleases means removal of nucleotides at the end of the dna and endonucleases means break the phosphate diester bond of a dna molecule inner inner the dna molecule so these are the two enzymes exonucleases and endonucleases example for exonucleases is ball 31 exonuclease 3 and the example for endonuclease hind2 eco ri p12 bam he tacai restriction endonucleases or molecular scissors so molecular scissors means they cut the molecules in the dna that is nitrogen bases or nucleosides nucleotide phosphate so like that it cuts the molecules of the dna hence it is known as molecular scissor scissor is the cut instrument so because it cuts the molecules of the dna so it is called as molecular scissors these act as a foundation for recombinant dna technology so this gives the foundation for recombinant dna technology because it is a cut enzyme it cuts the dna at specific site after cutting only the another uh, gene of interest dna going to join so, okay so this enzyme is called is the basic for our dna technology so these enzymes exist in many bacteria where they function as a part of the defense mechanism called restriction modification system so these enzyme where it comes from bacteria and they play an important role in defense mechanism so it is called as restriction modification system also so it is modifying the data no so because of that it is called as restriction modification system there are three main classes of restriction endonucleases type 1 type 2 type 3 so th these uh, these three are the endo restriction endonucleases class there is main classes type 1 class type 2 class type 3 which differ slightly in their mode of action so these three type 1 type 2 type 3 or slightly differ in the mode of action only type 2 enzyme is preferred for use in recombinant dna technology as they recognize and cut the dna within a specific sequence typically consisting of 4 to 8 bases so which enzyme is used endonucleases type 2 and two that is type 2 enzyme is used why means it can easily cut the 4 to 8 base pair sequence of dna so type 2 is used in our dna technology the restriction enzyme hind2 always cuts dna molecule at a point of recognizing recognizing a specific sequence of six base pair so hind2 is also a restriction enzyme only and it is also a cut enzyme but it cut the dna with six base pairs so if the six base pair is there that there the hind dna can easily able to cut so and it forms the sequence also so this sequence is known as recognizing sequence so the hind has cut with six base pair and it identifying a sequence that sequence is called recognition sequence recognition sequence today more than 900 restriction enzymes have been isolated from over 230 strains of bacteria with different recognition sequence so we have 900 restriction enzymes which was extracted from 230 strains of bacteria and they have different recognition sequence also so this one mark they will ask how many restriction enzymes are there 900 and how many that are from over 230 strains that is they will ask how many strains are there 230 strains of bacteria with different recognition sequence and this is an example for the bacteria you can see a l u 1 that is orthobacter luteus and you can see the recognition c 5 dash to 3 dash 5 dash a g or c t 3 dash and 3 dash t c or g a 5 dash 
so the fragments will be formed a g t c c t g a so they are blunt ends so these ends that is a l u i forms the blunt ends fragments if they cut means they forms the blunt end and bam he bacillus amylo liquefy liquefactions so that is the recognition site so when the site comes like this that is like this sequence comes means it starts to cut so phi dash g or g a t c c 3 dash 3 dash c c t a g dash g phi dash so now how it can g c g c a t t a g c g if it comes like this means it forms the sticky ends so like you can see uh, like this means it is a sticky ends it forms the sticky ends e co r i excretia coli and you have the recognition sequence of phi dash g g slash a a t t c 3 dash 3 dash c c t a g slash g phi dash and this also forms the sticky ends okay this is sticky ends and hi 3 hemophilia that is hemophilus aegypticus uh, the recognition sequence is phi dash g g c c 3 dash 3 dash c c g g phi dash so it forms the blunt ends so the the structure is like this so it shows the blunt end symbol hind 3 hemophilia influenza the recognition site is phi dash a dash a g c t t 3 dash 3 dash t t c g a slash a phi dash and the fragments may be like this and it forms the sticky ends so these are the some of the examples of the restriction enzymes the sequence is referred to as a restriction site and is generally palindrome which means the sequence in both dna stands at the site read the same from 5 dash to 3 dash and in 3 dash to 5 dash direction so you can see that is the same so in 5 dash it is a g c t 3 dash and here 3 dash t c g a so it takes place vice versa if it comes like this this like sequence means we can see in all this the same way so if it comes the sequence like this it is called palindrome sequence for example you can see the malayalam you write it malayalam from this side okay from this side you get the malayalam you can you, you can see from this side also the same spelling is there so like that in in both the direction you have the same uh, spelling of malayalam like that from 3 dash to that is 5 dash to 3 dash and 3 dash to 5 dash the sequence will be same so here 5 dash for example c means here c here g so c g a t a t so like that it appears if it repeated like this means then it is called palindromic sequence so that sequence are seen while the cut that is here we have talk about the recognition sequence so this recognition sequence will be the palindrome sequence palindromic repeats a symmetrical repeated sequence in dna strands that you can see no phi dash so he c and here also phi dash c a t t a t a t a a t g 3 dash so here you see phi dash c a t t a t a t a a t g so 3 dash so here it goes like this but here it goes like it that means it shows the repeated sequence okay note that the sequence of all of the base pairs in the reverse direction 
which compare to the first sequence. So, the first sequence uh, uh, by reverse direction it goes means that sequence is called palindromic sequence or palindromic re repeats this. They may ask in your two marks and one mark also. So, restriction endonucleases are named by a standard procedure. So, we can see that eco ri hind 3 like that no here you can see. So, this eco ri bam he alu alu i bam he hind heme 3 hind 3 heme 3. So, how it the names comes how they make keeping the names to the enzymes. See. The first letter of the enzyme indicates the genus name followed by the first two letters of the species name. Then comes the strain of the organism and finally a Roman numeral indicate the order of discovery. So example they had given this is eco ri. So E represent excretia coli. Okay. Coli. Coli is there no? So, co, C-O. So, E, co, strain is restriction R, why no? So, you are taking the R. And I represent the first discovery. So, this is, this why, by this, by this way they are naming the restriction enzymes. So, first is the genet genus letter and second two letters will be the species letter and strain, strain R is the strain and the Roman numeral will be the discovery. So, the exact kind of cleavage produced by a restriction enzyme is important in the design of the gene cloning experiment. So, the cleavage where the restriction enzyme cleaves that you must know. And the, for what we going to clone the gene. So the experiment you are cloning the pancreatic gene. That part only has to cut this restriction enzyme. So that you have to see what type of cleavage is taking place. Some cleave both the strands of DNA through the, through the center resulting in blunt or fleshy ends. So they are called systematic cuts. So while cutting no. So, now the restriction enzyme is put and they cut in the middle. Due to the middle, they get fleshy ends or blunt. The end is blunt. blunt. If it cuts, that is, it is also called as the blunt end or fleshy end is called as symmetric cuts. Okay, symmetric cuts. And some enzyme cut in a way producing protruding and resist end, protruding and resist end known as sticky ends or cohesive ends. So, they are, so protruding means easily it can go and lock, no? So, if the cut happens here and there, you can see the arrow mark, no? This and here, it forms a step like cut. So, this end is called sticky end. Easily, the another uh, uh, cut can be easily enter into it. So, it is called as sticky ends or cohesive ends and they are called as staggered or asystematic cuts. So, the blunt, end, blunt ends are called as symmetric cuts. But sticky ends is asymmetric cuts and sticky ends is otherwise known as cohesive ends and blunt end is otherwise known as fleshy that is fleshy flesh ends. Okay. So, thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.